I am Marzi Hosseini and this is Nanotechnology Channel. In this video, I will describe green synthesis of zinc oxide nanoparticles using extract of aerial part of Devera tortuosa as a reducing and capping agent. Devera tortuosa is a wild perennial bushy plant growing naturally in sandy and stony plains. Zinc oxide nanoparticles have wide band gap, large binding energy, and high piezoelectric property. Zinc oxide nanoparticles are believed to be biosafe, non toxic, and biocompatible. Zinc oxide nanoparticles have applications in optoelectronics, piezoelectric and magnetic sensors, biological labeling biodiagnosis, ceramic and rubber processing, biology and medical industry, environmental protection, and so on. The surface of zinc oxide is rich in hydroxyl groups, which permit zinc oxide to slowly dissolve in both acidic and strong basic conditions. Based on this property, zinc oxide nanoparticles have gained interest in biomedical applications. In the green synthesis of zinc oxide nanoparticles using extract of aerial part of Devera tortuosa, the first step was plant extraction. At first, plants were washed with distilled water to remove any debris, uh, then dried at room temperature. Aerial parts were finely ground into a fine powder. Then, the aqueous extract was prepared. 50 gram of the plant powder was soaked in 1 liter of distilled water. It was kept in a shaker at 20 degrees centigrade for 24 hours for continuous agitation at 100 RPM for mixing. Then the extract was filtered and stored at minus 4 degrees centigrade for further investigations. The next step was synthesis of zinc oxide nanoparticles. At first, 25 milliliter of the crude plant extract was heated on a magnetic stirrer at 60 to 80 degrees centigrade. When the temperature of the extract reached uh, 60 degrees centigrade, 2.5 gram of zinc nitrate hexahydrate was added and left for about one hour until a white precipitate appeared. This mixture was left 12 hours in an oven at 60 degrees centigrade until a creamy paste was formed. This paste was collected and washed several times with a solution of distilled water and ethanol. Then the collected paste was heated in a furnace at 400 degrees centigrade for two hours. The obtained white powder was used for characterization. X-ray diffraction pattern of synthesized zinc oxide nanoparticles is displayed in this figure. The maximum intensity peak at uh, 36.24 degree was obtained with uh, 101 orientation. The sharpness in the peak endorses that synthesized material is a crystalline. The average crystal, uh, crystallite size of zinc oxide that measured using Scherer's formula was 15.41 nanometer. In this slide, you can see the TEM analysis of the synthesized zinc oxide nanoparticles. TEM analysis can be used to understand the crystalline characteristics and size of nanoparticles. According to this analysis, the size of particles was between 9 to 31 nanometer. At the end, please make sure to click the subscribe button and to hit the notification bell, so you know exactly when we release new contents. Also, right now, comment below and tell us what topic you want us to cover, as we always look at the comments to decide what to create next. Bye!